This show is to help ensure that you can produce and interpret scatter graphs in geography. We will also learn how to draw a line of best fit to show strong correlation between the data. Scatter graphs are used to help show the relationship between two different sets of data. These style of graphs are shown with either a dot or cross placed at the point where the two sets of data meet. We often use the term correlation to describe the relationship between the data. The exams often ask for strengths and weaknesses of different styles of graphs. We can see in this case some of the advantages which will become clear as we plot and interpret them. These graphs are easy to plot and we can see general patterns between the two sets of data and the strength of correlation. It's also easy to spot outlier data or anomalies as they're sometimes known. However, disadvantages are that you can only use them for two sets of data and they're not really precise when analysing the relationship between the data. Pause the show and make sure you know the advantages and disadvantages of scatter graphs before moving on. The scatter graph example shown on the screen shows the relationship between female literacy on the x-axis at the bottom and infant mortality on the y-axis. Although we have no idea which dot represents which country, we can see a general trend with a positive correlation. This shows that as female illiteracy increases, infant mortality also increases. We can see this because the dots go up diagonally from left to right. This is not true for every nation though, as we can see in the green circle, there are anomalies or outlier results which do not match the general pattern. When asked to describe the relationship in a scatter graph, you need to use the term correlation. A strong correlation means that the two sets of data are very closely linked. A positive correlation is shown if the data is moving upwards to the right. This means that as one thing increases, the other also increases. A negative correlation is shown as a diagonal relationship from top left to bottom right, whereas one thing increases, the other decreases. The third possibility is that there is no correlation at all. This means that the dots are generally all over the place, so you can't see a relationship. Pause the show and make sure you understand about correlation. It may be worth writing down the three possible relationships you could get. On the screen, you've got a typical exam question asking you to complete the scatter graph. I'm going to show you how to do this. Remember, always use a ruler, pencil and double check your answers. First, start to work along the x-axis, which is along the bottom, until you come to 25,640. You may have to estimate where this is. So it's just after 25,000 and between 25,000 and 26,000. Place your ruler vertically there on the scatter graph. The y-axis shows urban population. So look carefully at that and move your finger or ruler up to 72% and place across as the question instructs at the point where the data intersects and meets. Double check your answer to ensure the cross is correct and just above the 70% before moving on. We can then repeat the process for Luxembourg. First, we find the x-axis data of 48,000 and place our ruler or pen on the graph upwards at that point. We then find 90% on the urban population and put a cross where they both meet. For this answer, before moving on, check that the cross is exactly on the 90% line because the examiner can easily tell whether you are correct or not and you could lose easy marks. Question 2 asks you to add a best fit line to the scatter graph. Students regularly make mistakes which can be seen on the screen here. On the left, which shows the classic mistake of starting the line from the origin, zero point on the bottom left. The other student has drawn a free-handed curved line between the points, which is also very wrong. You'll now be shown how to plot one correctly. To draw the line of best fit, you need to use a ruler and draw a straight line with a pencil following these main guidelines as shown on the screen. Firstly, ignore any outliers which are anomalies that do not really match the main trends. The best fit line must be drawn to reflect the majority of the data and be balanced with roughly equal points above and below the line of best fit. Pause the show and make sure you can properly draw a line of best fit. This now concludes the show about scatter graphs.